Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a sparse matrix. The sparse matrix or the sparse array, you can call it as a sparse array. The sparse matrix or those matrix which have the majority of their elements equal to 0. So whatever the matrix you have taken in that you will see the majority uh, should be 0. Majority elements are equal to 0. That you call it as a sparse matrix. So why to use sparse matrix instead of simple matrix? So the system can use the memory can use to store the data by using the simple matrix. Then why they are going for sparse matrix? Because the main thing is storage and computing time. So in the case of storage, if you use a sparse matrix, there are lesser number, uh, lesser non-zero elements than zeros. Uh, actually, the matrix is having some suppose so many of zeros are there. The sparse matrix is going to be take. Uh, it's only evaluate the values that is a non-zero elements it has to be taken and it avoids the zero uh, elements so that there are lesser non-zero elements than zeros so less memory can be used to store the elements whereas coming to the computing time computing time can be saved by logically designing a data structure traversing along uh, only non-zero elements okay so it's uh, rather than following complete uh, elements, visiting complete elements if you are for searching. In the case of searching, if you are visiting complete all the elements, it's better to traverse only through non-zero elements. Then you can find out the element very uh, with less time. So that's why we are using the sparse matrix. Repeating sparse matrix by two-dimensional array leads to wastage of lots of memory as zeros in the matrix or of no use in most of the cases so instead of storing zeros with non zeros elements we only store non zero elements so here we are storing the zeros with non zeros elements but instead of storing that you just avoid the zeros and store only non zero elements so that the time will be consumed and at the same time the storage will be uh, increased wastage of memory will be reduced okay now let us see this means storing non-zero elements with triples. So how we can store the non-zero elements by following the triples that is a row column value. The sparse matrix can be done in many ways. The following are the two common representations array representation and linked list representation. So these are the two representations that we can uh, represent the sparse matrix. Now first that is the array representation. So how the sparse matrix will be represented by using the arrays. See here. A two-dimensional array is used to represent a sparse matrix in which there are three rows. So actually there are complete three rows will be there. The two-dimensional array to represent the sparse matrix. One is row, column and the value. That is a triples. Row here indicates index of a row. It's just index. Remember that is the index. Index of row where non-zero element is located. So you have to concentrate only on the non-zero element, not the zero elements. So in the matrix, you have to find out where will be the non-zero element is present. That is the row. Index of row you have to be find out. And the column indicates index of column. Index of column where non-zero element is located. And coming to the value, value is a particular element that is present in the row and the column, uh, a particular non-zero element you have to be find out. Value of the non-zero element located at index row and column. Okay. Now let us see here an example, how we represent the array representation of a sparse matrix. So this is an example, a sparse matrix. This will be uh, represented in a triplet, that is a row column value. So, the two-dimensional array uh, can be represented in sparse matrix in the three rows, by using three rows, that is a row column value. So, what row indicates? Row indicates the index of a row where a particular non-zero element will be located. And the column indicates the index of a column where a non-zero element will be located. Non-zero element means other than zero, value, particular value. So, see here, if you take the zero row, the index is 0 okay and the column in which column and the second index column 
I have to find out that element. So here in the zero row and the second column, the four element was there. So zero row, second column, value is the four. Again, here one more non-zero element is there. In the zero row, fourth column, five element is there. Zero row, fourth column, five element. Next, coming to the one. This, now this time. So here, where is the non-zero element here? So the first row, you have to write the index. Okay, the first row, third column. Third, you don't call, uh, I'm not saying it's a column, it's an index of a column. Okay, don't be confused. Actually, when you consider 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the fourth column, but I'm talking about the index. The index of the four, uh, column is 3 and the value is 3, 3, 3. Again, here one more element, non-zero element is there. The index of row, okay, and the index of column is 4 and the value is 6, 1, 4, 6. Now, coming to here. So, here the index of 2 row and the column index is 3, okay, and the column index is 3 and the element is 2. Now, coming to here. The index of row is 3 and the column is 1 and the value is 2. And here the index of 3, row is 3 and the column is 2, value is 3. 3, 2, 3. Okay, so this is how you have to represent the uh, two-dimensional array by using the sparse matrix. Let me take one more example. Let us take, I have taken a simple 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 6, 0. Okay, index 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now let's see here, row, column, value. So, first here, in the first row, there is any non-zero element? Yeah, in this place, there is a non-zero element. So, the zero index row and the third ind index column index is 3 and the value is 1. So, here there are no more elements over there. Now, coming to the next row. So, the one index. So, here in the zero column index, value is 1. Again, here one more element was there. So, again... 1 row index that is a index 3 column which element 5 now coming to here 2 row index here in this position that is a column index is 2 and the value is 6 so this is how you can represent it in triplet form this is about the array representation so in the next video i'll explain about the linked list representation